So I just celebrated 32 years in long-term recovery. Addiction is so internal too. It's in between my ears. You know, it's the way I view life. I could stop using, but because of the way that I viewed life and love and people and the fear that I had, I would just return back. I think the biggest role roadblock was myself, like just being scared. So when I got out of rehab, I, I didn't stay abstinent, but because I had seeds planted in that rehab, that relapse didn't last very long, you know, only like four months. And then I reconnected to that recovery community that I was introduced to in the rehab. You know, so I think that the treatment helped, you know, in that way, it gave me education about my disease that I have, and then um, introduced me to the people that could help me so I don't have to go back into treatment. So, you know, there's some basic suggestions in the beginning of, of, of the program is like, 90 meetings in 90 days and things like go to a meeting every day unless you didn't use every day then but i used every day so i went to a meeting every day and that gave me a network of people that um you know getting being new in recovery i wasn't very talkative i wasn't very social i had some irrational fears i had a uh, you know hard time communicating with just people but by following those simple suggestions of like 90 meetings in 90 days, it, it gave me people to talk to and uh, friends despite me, you know, and um, some solid people who just wanted to help me. I think people in recovery, people who have uh, substance use disorder or addiction, however you want to call it, are just super feelers. Like we feel deeply. We don't just feel sad. We feel suicidal. You know, I'm not just happy, I'm ecstatic. And uh, it's those emotional, you know, highs and lows that um, earth people, as I call them, uh, don't relate to so much. So having other super feelers around uh, helps normalize my life, you know. I have friends in recovery who I talk to honestly and openly about how I feel. Uh, that's really super important you know, people to really share what you're really thinking and feeling. You know, I think if you could just tell the people who are in recovery that they can make a difference, that the things that they've experienced, you know, uh, as barriers to them, that they can now step up, maybe even come out of anonymity and uh, change their community through uh, advocacy, through the emergency rooms and um, the politicians and stuff because the system isn't set up to hear the voice of people in recovery. Uh, we can't do it alone and we can't do it across the state. And we just, I wanna encourage other people to come together and, and do the things that they know, man, if only we had this or that, or if I could just tell that hospital or my experience there was you know, that we can actually come together and, and address some of these issues to, to fight the stigma. Because stigma is one thing, but the results of stigma are death and isolation and families being destroyed and, and um, you know, poverty and depra depravity, right? So it's serious. It's not just, oh, you know, I don't want to tell people that I'm in recovery on Facebook because my boss will know. It's like, you know, people who are, desperately wanting help and needing, wanting the help. Um, stigma prevents them from getting the help. And they, we end up with HIV and hepatitis C and destroyed families, I think is the hardest thing. When it comes to recovery, hard moments are, you know, watching somebody who struggles with addiction go to the emergency room and be turned away. Um, you know, seeing people who want help and not be able to find it or get it. And uh, seeing a lot of people die now with the epidemic, a lot of friends and family members die. And I know that there's things that we could do, um, but they need work and money and advocacy. That's hard. And I guess that's why I'm in this seat, you know, because it's like, I know we can do better.
recovery is possible. My name is Jennifer Turk, and I'm grateful for every day that I'm in recovery, and I won't be stopped by the stigma of addiction. <laughs>